guys, this is Creativity FX, and today I'll be doing a tutorial for you. Um, so I'll open Photoshop. The requested tutorial was adding text to your background, to the way I do it, and um, how to make it look good, obviously. So we'll open my template background. So what I have here is, um, this is my template for a non-part and background, and I basically have all those edges around the layout, which I can change color easily by adding a color correction gradient map. Uh, I'll put this back in the description if I get 15 likes. You can easily change the colors as you can see like here, but I'll stick with this one. <coughs> So I'll choose some random text I already have because I don't feel like make it again. I already made some tutorials on that. So let's see. Um, oh, for the guys that didn't know, I joined Resign Base. So I'll use that text I made for them. So we got our text. First of all, we'll put it behind the channel sections layer. So you get the color correction and you won't have it over your layout, which is good. Now flip it the way you like. Be sure you smallen it by pressing Command T and just drag it down with Shift so you keep the same ratio. And just don't make it too big. If you make it too big, it could fall off people's screen. It looks messy. It looks weird, not nice. So. Um, Basically, what we do <coughs> is um, we I have a lot of uh, textures, uh, stuff, literally, literally. As you can see, it's a bunch of images and stuff. So what I like to do is you have your text. I have two metal plates. Drag them over there, and you create a clipping mask by. Clip, uh, clicking with Alt between the two layers and putting those metal layers on overlay. Oh. And slightly down the opacity. <coughs> now for the effect we'll be using, uh, you merge those layers. This can be done with basically any texture you have and you like, so don't just use the metal thing. Now we go to uh, blending options, uh, click gradient overlay, put this the way you are. My text is going that way so we'll put it at 180 degrees so it'll start at the bottom. Put the blend mode on overlay and just slightly drag it down so you have the, the dark to light overlay here. Now I like to add a stroke size of 1, you can't see it right now because the black background is black already. And a small inner shadow, put it at the same degrees, so 180 for this time. Distance around 2 and size like 9, that's that. Now we'll be going to the textures again, um, for instance matrix numbers. A lot of people use brushes for this, but I like to be slightly different, so I'll just insert this image behind my text layer. Make it as big as you want, put it on linear dodge, and change the color to your uh, background color, your color you are going to use for your client or for your friend or whatever. So in this case we'll keep it at blue, let's see, like that. And drag down your opacity. You don't want to have objects that take the attention away from the stuff that really matters. The videos, your name, etc. So you just erase the edges because you won't see them anyway. And this looks better. Like that. And then... Move a little down. Like that. Yeah. We'll be going... Uh, like... I got all those textures from GFX Max and uh, Pax, and I went to Google and just search your stuff. Um, now I use flares; those are kind of overused, but I don't use them for 
the flare itself. I use them for lighting. So for instance, uh, you put it over there, put it over your text layer, overlay, uh, linear lodge, sorry. Change your color to the one you want. And as you can see, it will light your object. Just erase the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's it for your flare. Maybe center it. That. And what I use, uh, what I mostly use are light strokes. Now I'll, I'll show you some pretty much used stuff, like this one. You'll flip it the way you want. Put it behind your text layer. Put it on linear dodge so you won't have the hard edges. But you still have to remove stuff. Otherwise, it will be creepy. Change your color with Command U, by the way. Like there. No, 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 no. Dark. And you can twist it any way you want. Like so. You could basically, you see, you could do anything with this. You could duplicate it by pressing Command J and then flip it vertical. So you have this. You could make effects like this. Now, um, this is kind of overused, so I don't really recommend it. But I'm showing this so my own style won't get too much attention. If you get what I mean. So, for instance, let's take this. Let's take this burst. Just the same story. Flip it the way you like. Put it on linear dodge. Make it your color. So blue in this example. I'm really trying to keep this as short as possible for you guys, so uh, you won't have to spend ages to watch this. But I'm really trying to get some quality content out there. So just arrange the edges, duplicate your layer, flip it vertical, and there you go. Uh, I would put it behind the flares though. Um, some other tip, if you merge those layers and you like brighter stuff, you could like uh, press command J and you see this gets lighter. You can use it. Uh, in this example it comes out really nice but I wouldn't use it too much because bright is nice but it's sometimes it can, it can be annoying so I wouldn't use it too much. Okay. Then, for instance, let's take some stuff. Um, just searching some random stuff. Uh, actually, I don't. When I start backgrounds, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just looking through pictures and get my ideas right at the picture. So it's, I don't really prepare for back backgrounds. It's just thinking about it when you see it and you know something you can use. And you'll use it the way you like. For instance, I just saw this picture. Make it blue. Where is blue? God damn it. The fuck. There it is. And just duplicate it a few times so you get uh, the white blue ish look. You duplicate those. Uh, you merge those layers. Put it on the new dodge again. Duplicate it. Command T, flip vertical, and put it over there. Be sure if you want to make it uh, symmetrical, sorry, uh, the same on both sides, be sure you check out where you put these because it really does matter. If it's not in the same area, it's really ugly, if you get what I mean. I'm trying to explain the best I can, sorry guys. What I like to do is um, I made. Wait. I made this purple, violet, orange thingy, but this is still really blue. So what I would like to do is, um, behind this layer of the layout, I put another gradient map, put it on overlay, and put it probably on the same color, perhaps a little down. Now this could be nice, but in this uh, occasion I don't think it looks too nice so 
what I will show you guys, duplicate the gradient map, put it behind the other one, go to adjustments and put it on black and white. And put that one on color. Now you could drag this up so you get the same color um, instead of the blue, but it still matches as you can see. These colors match already and now it matches with the front as well. So this is kind of the texture thing. You just get GFX maps, use anything you can use and get an epic texture like this. This is just a quick example. You guys can do this way better. Now what I like to do, um, you can duplicate all this. Command T, rotate 180 degrees and you can put it here. Just be sure you put it at the same hit, uh, same lines like this. My uh, Photoshop is kind of laggy when I record my voice and uh, screen in once, so don't be mad at me for failing this part. This is kind of what I mean. You could put it like this. You could put it below here. And what I like to do is um, get your text layer. So where is it? This one. Duplicate that. Drag it above your channel layout, like that, flip it back, oh, wrong, what are you doing, like that, oh, 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 I forgot to mention, when you duplicate your text object, be sure you make it a smart object or change your gradient uh, in angles. So it still looks the same, like that. Oh, fuck. Sorry, he forgot to drag it down. Like that. Now the same with this one in the middle. Be sure it's at 90, I believe, yeah. And drag it down just a little. Now, make this size smaller. Just be sure that it's not too big or it will overlay the text on your layout. Mm. Now duplicate um, the gradient maps you had earlier. Drag them above your new layer and just make clipping masks towards it so you have the same. And just play with the opacity to make it look better. Wait, that's not right. It's really experimenting. It's not knowing stuff. It's experimenting time after time after time. It's never the same. And as final touch, this is just a quick example again. I like to put in my own logo. Make it totally white make it way smaller like that maybe a little bigger though people need to know I made their background so I get some credit for it you know put your, get your text put whatever you want there your uh, YouTube name or whatever that's really up to you and the font I like to use is Clavica Rec Caps yeah like that and what I do is go to blending options, go to gradient overlay, and just drag it down a little. It gives a simple, easy, small effect. People will know you made the background, and that's kind of it for this tutorial. Um, I might go more advanced the next time, but I just thought I'd keep it simple and clean and nice for the people who just started and want to know something real good. Um, one last thing, perhaps, with those swirls. Um, let me get those. Yes, it's perhaps make them a little more transparent so you can see the text better. Like that. That's my last advice. Make be sure the text is okay. So this is my tutorial, and I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give it a like. 15 likes for the for the layout.
for the new layout, I'll, I'll give a new YouTube layout. And before to follow me on Twitter, links will be in the description. See you guys later. See ya.